Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from GoMath. Welcome to the 2015 Teacher Workshop Series. We'll be working with Overland College students this winter to prepare some amazing videos in math, science, English, and history to help you pass your teacher certification exams. Use these videos to help you in your studies and your preparation. And if you need some extra help, attend a workshop. We're holding workshops throughout the United States in Massachusetts, in California, in New York, in Florida. I'm sure you'll find them very helpful. Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from GoMath. Welcome to the 2015 Teacher Workshop Series. Today's problem is number 61 from the 53 Math MTEL. It's a great intermediate level problem for middle school and high school teachers preparing for your math teacher certification exams. It's going to involve proportions and finding the constant of proportionality between two variables. I'll read this problem over, help organize the information, we'll cut to our Oberlin intern Conti to talk about direct proportionality and then we'll come back and we'll work through the math to solve the problem. Alright, so let's start. Let's read it over, visualize what's going on as I read it. A real estate company is selling building lots of various dimensions in a new development. The price of each lot is directly proportional to its area. If a 200 foot by 200 foot parcel costs $24,000, what is the cost of a 260 by 200 foot lot. Now read this to yourself. Try and organize the information. What do you have for lot one and lot two? We're dealing with price and area and we're told that they vary directly. Right? Does everyone see that? It says price, the price of each lot is directly proportional to its area. And we've, we've seen that word directly before. We've, we've had direct relationships where we said y varies directly with x. We're going to have something very similar. But this time it's going to be the price varies directly with the area of each one of those lots. Now, price varies directly with area. This uh, k here is our constant. We call that the constant of proportionality. It's very important that you're going to be able to solve for the constant of proportionality in this problem. As we as we work through it, you'll see that you know we can we can fill out a lot of this information. We know that lot A is twenty four thousand. We know there's some constant. We don't know what it is though, but we do know that the area of this one is two hundred times two hundred. And we know for the second lot, we don't know what the price is. We still don't know what k is, but uh, we have an idea uh, that the dimensions are 260 times 200. If we have an understanding that this is a direct relationship, then in the first equation, we can find the constant of proportionality so that we can then input it into our second equation and find the price of the second lot. So let's go to our Oberlin intern right now, Conti and help us out first with understanding um, what type direct relationships and how to solve for the constant of proportionality. Take it away, Conti. Hi, Chris. We're going to talk about proportionality. In this problem, we're told that the price of some lots is proportional to their area. That means that we can set up this equation. Price equals k times area, where k is the constant of proportionality. If price and area were indirectly proportional to each other, we would set up an equation like this, where k is divided by area instead of multiplied by area. But because we know that they're directly proportional to each other, we use this equation. We know that the cost of the first lot is $24,000, and its area is 200 by 200 feet. We can plug in these values to get this expression. We know that the dimensions of the second lot are 200 by 260 feet and we are asked to find the price. But because these equations are from the same scenario, the k's in each of them are equal. So we can solve for the constant of proportionality on this side. And we can plug it into this equation to find the price of the second lot. That's it for today on proportionality. 
Thanks, Chris. Back to you. Awesome job, Conti. Let's come back to this problem. Let's solve for k. Once we find k in this first part of the, the problem, we can substitute into the second and find the price of the second lot. We'll just continue out that algebra that Conti started, dividing both sides by 200 times 200. What's 200 times 200? Well, 2 times 2 is 4. We got four zeros, so that's 40,000. So we have 24,000 divided by 40,000 equals, these cancel out, so that equals k. What's 24,000 divided by 40,000? Well, that's like if we reduced by a factor of 10 or crossed out zeros, we'd get k is equal to 24 over 40, which could be reduced again to 3 fifths if we divided by a factor of 8. All right, so guess what? We just found out that our constant of proportionality is 3 fifths. And I take this value and I substitute, I substitute it in for my k. So now we have 3 fifths times whatever the area of the second one gets us the price of the second one. Let me clear off the, the screen here. We have a little bit more space to do some of these calculations. The area in this case is 260 times 200. Our constant we just did is 3 fifths. What's uh, 260 times 200? Well, 2 times 26 is 52 plus 3 zeros is equal to the price of the second lot. You can do this any way you want to, as long as you're really careful. So I like to say, you know, three times, 50, uh, three times 52 gets you 156 plus the three zeros, 156,000 divided by five equals the price of the second lot. And then I'm gonna go a step further. Just to be 100% sure I get this right, I'm gonna set this up as 156,000 divided by 5, just so I don't make any mistakes. 5 goes into 15 three times, crosses out, drop down to 6. 5 goes into 6 once, 1 times 5 is 5. These uh, get me 1,000. 5 goes into 1,000 200 times. I find out the price of lot 2 is 31,200. And the key to this problem is finding out the constant of proportionality between the area and the price. Once you can find that, it's just nuts and bolts algebra and you know, multiplying, dividing, and reducing. If you can get to the constant of proportionality and get to the three-fifths, it becomes much more manageable. Okay? All right, team, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is Chris Abram from GoMath. Thank you, Conti, for your help on this problem, and everyone have a great day. Take care, team. Bye-bye.